What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2015 Let's Play video and today starts my new Let's Play series on Haywire Ranch map and this is a smaller American map which is perfect for us and I did switch the basic farming sim stock equipment for some basic modded equipment so I uh, got this really nice uh, case Harvester, it's pretty small. Got this uh, Massey Ferguson 69.8, and uh, this John Deere is awesome. It's a small John Deere. So uh, this is the second new series of the week, and uh, I can't wait to uh, get involved in this map and do some farming. And I did get a lot of requests to do some Let's Play Farm Sims, so uh, here it is. And uh, we're going to get started here with uh, turning on this combine and uh, going to go out to the field where we will start harvesting. So I'm going to raise the uh, blade and uh, I will be cutting out some stuff here and there and uh, creates for a more jam-packed uh, video of a lot of stuff instead of just doing one thing the whole video so I think that should also increase the amount of stuff we do in all these videos and I can't wait and uh, before we start this harvest I want to go and uh, also get the uh, grain cart and uh, yeah going to unfold this and uh, we'll just leave it right here and uh, yeah so another good thing about all the stuff I found is uh I looked really hard for detail tractors so this one you walk up you open the door to get in that's realistic and then you uh, close it like that so uh, I'm really excited and I'll have all the mods that I will be using in the description and uh, yeah so I will be trying to do as much first person as I can because uh, I think that would be really cool to uh, be that realistic and a uh, third person will come when needed, but for now, I'm thinking uh, we will try our best to do some uh, first person farming. Pull this off to the side of the road, and uh, we'll keep it running. And uh, we won't hire a worker, I really don't uh, want to hire a worker, and I'm not a fan of hiring the workers. So uh, we'll harvest ourselves, and like I said, I'll just cut out a lot and uh, probably by the end of this video or within a few minutes we'll already be at the end. That's how I'm going to cut this stuff out to make it uh, jam packed for you guys. But uh, yes, this is a pretty small harvester. It's the same size as the one that was in the game. So that's kind of how I went with this and uh, I think that that's awesome on how I uh, have it set up but uh, we're just going to go around in the circle and outline this field and uh, yeah and my goal is to upgrade to the big John Deere tractors big harvesters everything like big because I mean if we take a look at this map there's quite a lot of fields and like I said this is a smaller American map which I'm a fan of Looks like we're caught up on some branches, which uh, I do not know why we are having that problem. Just going to uh, <laughs> have to go completely around it, I guess. But yes, we'll be uh, continuing this harvest and uh, getting this done, then we will seed some fields. combine is almost full so uh, we'll extend the pipe and uh, we're going to have to go get the John Deere and unload this but there's still 5% so uh, we'll keep going until it is completely full and then uh, we will unload it and I hope you guys are liking this new type of style where uh, it, instead of harvesting the whole video I'm taking clips from each uh, activity we do 
in farming sim in each job and uh, taking only clips and uh, making it a jam-packed video. So it looks like this is full. We'll leave it on and uh, we'll jump in the John Deere and uh, we'll cruise around and uh, we are on the second pass around so it gets one and a half passes around this field and I think the easiest way to harvest this field would be to just go around in a circle and uh, that's probably the easiest thing to do so uh, yeah and we're gonna keep harvesting here and I'll see you guys back once I'm done unloading at the end of this field so uh, then we will do the next job of the day and this John Deere is awesome I really do like everything about this new series and uh, let's see how much uh, this truck gets full and I'm going to have to remember now to open the doors and stuff and to close them because uh, that just makes it so much more realistic that way but uh yeah that's really cool how you can do that walk around can you do anything else take those off that's awesome so let's get in here and uh like i said i will catch you guys back here when i'm done with the harvest once i uh close that up and uh get continued here finishing up the last pass here on the first harvest on our new map here and it took quite a long time but it's completely done and uh, let's put out the pipe here and I uh, get this unloaded and uh, parked back up in the shop and uh, then we will switch on over to seeding a new field and uh, that should be a lot of fun and uh, yes yeah, so please let me know guys in the comments if you like this style where it's not like the whole harvest it's clips from the harvest and uh, yes this was a long harvest and I think that this is just awesome could have to remember to open my door when I get out then uh, close it and uh, yes yeah, so this is almost done unloading here and uh, yeah so we're we're gonna get this folded up and uh, we'll go park this back at the shop I think that I'm going to just back it in this little corner of this shop here. I'm going to lower the blade, that way uh, the hydraulics are uh, free of any pressure there. Now let's switch back to the John Deere tractor. And now let's take this back and unload it. And I took one load before this to the silo. Okay, so we have arrived at the silo here where we're just going to store it instead of selling it that way uh we wait for a great demand but uh what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to raise this uh cover up because it's a little unrealistic that the trailer hits it there and uh we'll put this inside squeeze through right here and i want to keep everything indoors out of the weather so we'll just plop this here and let's uh, hook up to the seeder now where uh, we will start to seed. And I'm not going to uh, forge that weed up yet because I'm not sure exactly where you uh, sell the weed at and the straw that you get from that. Because once we figure that out, we can make a lot of money just off collecting what comes out of that harvester. So uh, let's raise that up. And I really do like the door features and everything. But yes, let's go plant a field now. The cedar is at half percent, but that's perfectly fine for what we're going to be doing. And it's just right here, the field. So uh, we'll finish this field up off camera once uh, we finish the video. And they're just going to start this. 
And uh, yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are liking this series, and please give me a thumbs up on this video if you would like to see more of this series. And what we will be doing for the next harvest is uh, we will be selling our harvester and we'll be renting a larger one. That way it's more efficient and uh, doesn't take as much time as it did for that one. And I think that would be awesome to do. And it creates that variety in equipment. But my goal is to purchase one instead of putting out a lot of money every harvest to rent one. And uh, renting one is perfect force to get started off with and then uh buying one is the main goal for the harvester and uh please let me know guys if you want me to do square bales or round balers and if any of you have any good mods you want me to use please let me know in the comments and i'll gladly take a look and see if i should use them in this amazing new series and uh yes this is the second series like i was saying of the week and the first one was building a house series which a lot of you did like so that's awesome stay tuned for the next episode in that series to come out probably late next week and uh yeah but we're going to have to look into purchasing a fertilizer and uh maybe we can take a look at that before the video ends and i think that's what we'll do so we'll get out of this tractor close the door and uh, switch on over to this and uh, we don't have too much money so let's see if we could just rent one 14,000 I don't even think we could rent one can we rent how much is it oh we could rent it for uh, two hours awesome so renting it I think is the better option Let's make sure that the tractor has enough horsepower. Looks like it does not require that, which is good. So uh, let's go pick that up in this small uh, tractor, which I think is perfect for just doing stuff around the shop and small stuff. Okay, so we've arrived. Let's back this tractor up, and I'm really liking uh, doing a lot of this in first person, which is good. So uh, let's head back to the shop now and get some fertilizer in the back filling it up now with fertilizer and it's a pretty small one so it doesn't take long and uh, then we could uh, get back over to that field now let's uh, head over there and this tractor does have some pretty cool features and the door opens that way which is pretty cool I'm thinking let's just open a side window to get some fresh air There we go, and uh, that's really cool, that glass, how that opens. But uh, yeah, we'll start to fertilize. Like I said, I will finish this field off camera, and uh, we'll be back to do some fun stuff. And please let me know, guys, what do you want to do for the next Let's Play ser video in this series, because I'm always looking to see what you guys like me to do, and uh, yeah. This fertilizer is perfect. I'm a little over getting some on the roadway, but that's fine. I would rather lose a little than to uh, have to go back and uh, redo the area. And this tractor, like I said, is just perfect. It's an older style tractor, and it's, it's awesome for starter equipment. And uh, all these tractors and stuff I changed out and uh, put in modded ones that aren't the best but uh we'll, we'll get us through what we need to do and uh, i'm really really glad but uh this renter mod that we have uh i did have another one but this one now allows you to do for hours so it's a lot cheaper to render for like an hour instead of a whole day so uh we'll be doing that but uh yes i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know in the comments on what you thought about this. And, uh, yes. Thanks for watching. And, like always, like, comment, and subscribe.